Wonderful day to see some progress and just a plain wonderful day outside, Ashley Gann. As I like to say, Jack, a Chamber of Commerce kind of a day. I'm sure Mayor Woodfin would agree with this one. It's a beautiful day in Birmingham. A live look from our BJCC tower cam right now. Just a few fair weather cumulus clouds dotting the evening sky. It's going to be quiet, calm, and cool. Look at winds right now in Birmingham. 20 miles per hour. Wow. That's why wind advisories are actually in place through early this evening. Temperatures in Birmingham right now sitting at 62 at this hour. A cool 62 because it's going to feel about 10 degrees cooler outside with those winds out of the northwest at around 20 miles an hour. 73 was our high in Birmingham. Our average this time of year at around 80. We actually won't see 80s at least for the next week. Temperatures right now a bit cooler to our north. We have 54 in Coleman all the way to 70. Down in Clan. So, a bit of a range across our viewing area. Clear sky right now is going to give way to those cooler temperatures overnight tonight. Temperatures in North Alabama, yep, you're reading this correctly. Possibly some upper 30s spotted from Hamilton to Fayette, Vernon, low 40s from Northport to Tuscaloosa. Along I 65, those temperatures expected to be closer to 40 degrees down towards Peach Country, Birmingham at around 42, and uh, up in Coleman around 40. You have Aniana in the upper 30s. Of course, some of the more rural areas, they could experience some of that cooler air. Chilly from Piedmont to Lineville, yeah, upper 30s, mid-May, kind of hard to believe, right? Temperatures will trend unseasonably cool for the next seven days, even afternoon highs tomorrow. Even though they'll be in the upper 60s to low 70s, they're still going to be quite a few degrees below average. 73 in Northport, 72 in Reform, mostly sunny sky for your Thursday. And then some of those spots that may be a little bit harder pressed to climb out of the 60s, Aniana, Coleman, Haleyville, all in the upper 60s. Low 70s from Asheville down to Clanton with East Alabama looking at a mostly sunny sky. Upper 60s in Heflin, 71 in Center, same with Gadsden. And then those average highs this time of year, 79. We'll start to get back to close to seasonable values early next week. But notice the dip in the temperatures. Saturday, reason for that is some late week rain. Now, tonight and tomorrow, dry as a bone. I don't expect any rainfall in our forecast for Thursday. But we will notice the rain chances picking up just a bit after midnight Friday morning. North Alabama sees the morning rain followed by mid morning showers through the Birmingham metro. Lunchtime, that rain will kind of be splitting central Alabama, some to the Tennessee Valley to our north and some down to our south. So it can't rule out some afternoon showers. But then we'll kind of see that resurgence of wet air 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. as that back edge moves through. Notice most of the thunderstorm activity, though, stays in south Alabama by 11 p.m., though, Friday night. The rain's gone, the sky clears, and the temperatures will be dropping quickly. Notice what happens Saturday morning. You'll wake up to low 40. 67 for your high Saturday. Mostly sunny though for your Mother's Day, mid 70s, and then that warm up begins, and we'll be back close to average for next week. And that's a look at your storm.